All right, we got a little bit of organization taken care of and I had that tripod kind of just sitting here and I was putting everything in its place and I got to the tripod and I was like, well, I might as well install it. So now we have a more permanent solution for an above head tripod mount. Here we have a mahogany mount with a steel bar in it. Got a couple carriage bolts holding that on, carriage bolts holding it on to the rafter. We have an attachment for the DSLR camera for zoom in close close up shots. Plus we have a webcam here that I can, you know, crop in um, in OSB. Gonna need some longer cables for it to run along, you know, the crevices and things to hide the, the cables as much as possible. I haven't gotten to the battery thing yet and I made a complete mess of my desk, but uh, Heather just came in. She is ready to go. It is almost 11 a.m. And uh, we're going to go for our, our Sunday drive. I don't know. I like driving around the mountains. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, it's nice to walk out and see a nice table saw in my shop. I'm going to resurface this and everything. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a future video. Those people are taking a picture of us from the road. Me and Heather found a little pull off and saw a waterfall. So we decided to take a walk up here. You probably can't hear me anyway. There's another thing. Some yeah, there's bighorn sheep up here in the mountains. People understand when you slow down and stop and look. So they'll be fine if I, the people behind me taking a picture. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's a whole family. Now we found a bridge. And some snow. It's actually pretty deep. Oh, that feels nice. It's like 100 degrees down in Denver, but up here, I get to dunk my hat in the water, in the snow. All right, so we pulled over again. We see a couple moose out there in the, in the field. There's two of them. We're standing up on top the bed of my truck trying to look over and there's some more people taking pictures if I can move over here I can see him better oh he's looking at us he sure is anyway bad picture but there they are all right we're back in the shop and it is raining outside and it sounds really nice uh, we were coming, this is pretty strange, but we, uh, when we went up the mountain, it was 92 degrees. We went up the mountain, it dropped down to about 75 at the highest point, like way up by Mount Beerstadt, which is like, you know, I don't know, we were at like 11,000 feet or something like that. It only went down to 75, and then we came back down the mountain, and I swear the weather followed us because now... It is like 75 here in Denver and raining and it's awesome out. I'm gonna get out of the rain, although it does feel nice. I'm gonna continue working in the shop, um, organizing things and you know, Sunday afternoon stuff. Uh, DR, I read your comment and I will get some chicken wire for those grapevines back there. And I understand that they won't be producing anything for about two or three years, three years but I will put chicken wire up to protect them from the rabbits. So I had this half inch piece of plywood laying around. I went ahead and just sanded it down. It was like all yellow and ugly, but I went ahead and sanded it down. And the reason we need that is for in here on this wall, um, this is drywall. 
So when I'm hammering in these little uh, things for cord management, it's just going into drywall, right? These, are, these aren't very long screw or uh, nails. They're not really long enough to go through the drywall and into the studs. So I, I'm just gonna put a piece of plywood here, then I can hammer these and set them exactly where I want them. I don't have to worry about studs or, you know, little nails falling out of drywall like this one. So we'll just cover that up and we'll have a nice organized system of cables, kind of like over here, even though, yeah, don't look at that. That's just, okay. All right, so I was just getting ready to start taking these down and install this. It's gonna go right underneath that ethernet outlet and then over to this outlet and down. Uh, however, it's Sunday night. We started watching a show called Dark on Netflix and we're about four episodes in and she wants me to go in there and keep watching it. Otherwise she's gonna keep watching it and I'll be lost. So I gotta go in there and uh, I'll go ahead and call this a night. All right, so we only have a couple minutes of video, so let's go ahead and read some comments. All right, David Kelly says, once you put that lower tower inside its own cabinet, the noise should be gone pretty much. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I do have some insulation, um, foam insulation, like the um, the rigid like, panels. I could make a little... Uh, soundproof room for it but it's very important also that it has ventilation even though it's a liquid cooled tower um it still has fans and everything so it's it's a tough balance and um once i get all this this cable management done and everything then i'll realize oh i gotta move the computer and then i gotta change everything anyway but for right now i'm just sick of looking at cables so yeah i agree i agree with you hello mariel Travis says, what a hell of a breakfast, man. Yes, that was a good one. That was a good one. Black morels and eggs. David says, those mushrooms look delicious. I have to agree with Deb. Those two, two next to each other would get problematic. You got a lot done in a studio. In the studio, it's coming along nicely. Yep, um, I addressed that in today's video or yesterday's video. Is this even updated? Let me hit refresh. I guess it is. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of comments that I did not respond to. I don't think I'm going to be able to answer all these, but uh, we'll we'll go through some of them. All right. Uh, Joseph Santana, if not for the top, I would have sent it back. But that top looks incredible for a double A, and the top will stand out, not only to myself, but to an audience much more than the other minor issues. Yeah, I agree. Now, if that top was just okay, plus the other issues, you'd be sending it back. Yeah, he's talking about that Les Paul that I purchased with the um, the not so great uh, craftsmanship on it. Yeah, man. Uh, let's skip through here. Jarhead Mark says, if you spell Ford backwards, D R O F, it stands for driver returns on foot. That's pretty good. Jeff Snyder says, looking good. Shane, awesome job. Thank you very much. Um, King Loopy says, really green, pro really great progress, Shane. Is that green machine a resaw in the background? Um, if you're talking about the grizzly saw, yes, that is my resaw. And it's my regular band saw. I'm just going to change blades when I need to resaw. But yeah, dude. Alex says, regarding the purfling, I wonder if they offset it on purpose to make it a bit more structurally sound. Sort of like laying a brick wall, you always overlap them. Offset the purfling. Uh, well, the purfling on that Martin, it's actually, I don't think that Martin has much purfling at all. But I think what he's talking about is the um, the H series, the, um, the HD 18s and stuff where they have the herring bone and it's like you know the binding is all like alternating i don't think that it has anything to do with structure it's kind of just a pattern all right thank you gs prospecting appreciate that um i hate 
passing over comments, but Larry Kazia says studio is coming along real nice. Love that rug and what a steal that was. That was those things are expensive. Yes, they are. They certainly are. Yeah, sand the desk and paint it flat, flat black. Yeah, the the desk is going to get sanded down. It's got some a lot of holes and scratches and everything in it. Um, I've never refinished this desktop before, but yeah, black would be probably a, one of the better colors. But I would prefer natural wood color. So if I did redo this desk, I would sand it down to like you know two twenty, and then from there. Um, I wouldn't do a stain. I would just linseed oil it or Danish oil or something like that. Let it cure real good. And then that would be it. Just because of, um, for utility, like for smoothness, right? Yeti Mountain says, very cool. Uh, Clint says, looking great. Thank you. Love the videos where you're in nature. Me too. Thank you, Jam6. Yes, Mariel, so, so pretty. Thank you. Mariel's been waiting for that video. Yeah, sorry guys, I haven't been comment, uh, replying to many comments. I'll get to the rest of them tonight. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching. I gotta go back in there. I gotta go in there. We're gonna watch Dark. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty cool so far. I'm already getting kind of lost. It's, it's kind of like a time travel um, story. So it's easy to get lost in it. So that's what we're going to go watch. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know in the comments and um, I'll read all the rest of these comments tonight. And if once you get a heart on your comment or a reply back, it meant, means I read it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.